Last time on the Information Age, we left Winston clinging for his life to the tale of the two-headed beast of politics and religion, the latest obstacle in his search for the legendary free flow of information. Where you get your information. You take it all and give us the scraps and the file. Is that it? Where's you don't know what you're saying. saying. I think I do. Where does this lead? To the free flow? No, Winston, you've, you've got, got to believe us. Still clinging to the suspended information line, facing the free flow with my back to politics and religion, I saw the tail take on a giant wave. Able to sustain the wave, I looked back as the tail of the beast cracked like a whip, pulled politics and religion up off its feet, over its heels, and piled drive its two heads unmercifully into the ground. Whoever or whatever was wagging that tail, I'd soon find out. A second wave approached. I braced, but this one sent me flying high into the air on a straight trajectory to the source of that enormous power. Winston, so glad you could drop in. <laughs> that was some ride you just took. About 500 feet, I'll bet, not to mention the drop down here into the pit. Like the ride you gave to politics and religion? Oh, that, yes. <laughs> well, once in a while, you've got to remind those boys who's wagging the tail, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Hi, I'm Karen, your customer representative. Is there anything in particular you're looking for today? Uh, no, I... Well, make yourself at home. Feel free to look around. Let me know if I can answer any questions. Where am I? <laughs> Why, this is the money pit. Why did you bring me here? Oh, we didn't bring you here, Winston. But the information line that threw me. Just it... a little marketing tool, Winston. Hey, and how do you know my name? <laughs> research, Winston. Market research. Here, let me show you something. With a snap of customer representative Karen's fingers, we descended deeper into the pit. To an information processing station must have been the size of 10 airplane hangars. This is the direct marketing department of our information commodification division. Winston, what does it say there on that pipeline next to you? It's, uh, it, it's my name. That's right. We gather information on virtually everyone in the civilized world. Name, age, current address, buying habits, Personal preferences and clothing, food, household... Hey, hey could you help goods? me find Smith? Your partner? Yeah, we were separated early on our journey. Yes, it I know all about it. As a matter of fact, we have him on several lists. It would be quite simple to track his current whereabouts, but uh, we can't release that kind of information to just anyone. Well, who can you release it to? Telemarketers, direct mail, fax, email distribution, pyramid schemes. <laughs> they pay good money for names like this. I see your friend uses roll-on. Hmm, I would have pegged him as a dry stick man. So this is what you do in the money pit? Gather and sell information about me and my friends? Oh, Winston, of course not. We gather and sell information about, well, just about everything. Information commodification is a vital process, but believe it or not still just a fraction of what we do here in the money pit. Again, we descended deeper into the pit. Massive, glistening towers dominated the area. Though they were the size of skyscrapers, their peaks still fell short of the Earth's surface far above. The towers were connected at several points by a series of brightly painted cables, bridges, and pipelines, each adorned with its own corporate logo or insignia. The foul liquid covering the floor of the pit fed several islands of fire. Sit in the middle, Winston. We don't want to rock the boat now, do we? <laughs> Thanks so much. This is the real heart of the operation. It is our great honor and responsibility here in the Money Pit to filter, collate, and spin all the information in the world before it is passed on to the various outlets who distribute it to the general public. Various outlets? You, you mean like politics and religion? Those are two of our primary transfer stations, yes. So, so every bit of information I've received in my whole life has been filtered to serve the interest of money? Well, there are always a few leaks, but uh, we do what we can. Information left untreated can be quite volatile, after all. <laughs> Money provides a valuable service. The free flow of information is a natural resource. You haven't got the right to exploit a it. A natural resource. So are trees, Winston. Let's say you make your own paper. 
So there really is a free flow of information. The legend is true? Yes, it's true. But you won't ever see it, Winston. Hey, Karen, your horns are showing. You're no ordinary customer rep, are you, Karen? <laughs> You're smart, Winston. <laughs> In fact, that's your trouble. <laughs> see you, Karen. Go ahead, Winston. You can't escape the money pit. <laughs> The heavy, swirling liquid sucked me in as I tried to swim to the nearest structure. Once, then twice, I was overtaken by the teeming slush, but managed to come up for air. On my third ascent, I was able to grab hold of a cable that had broken free from its coupling on a nearby tower. With my last bit of strength, I pulled up and out as fire overtook the spot beneath me, burning the tips of my shoes. You've got will and determination, Winston. I may have a position for you as a sales associate. Care to join the team? I'm climbing out of here, Karen. That's 112 stories, Winston. You'll never make it! Just then I felt the cable begin to move. A quick strike maintenance team was retrieving the broken cable from the surface high above. Stop, you fools! You're helping him escape! That's what I get for chopping out maintenance and repair. You'll be back, Winston! You'll be back! You'll never cross the vast wasteland! Thanks, fellas. No problem. What, what was that last thing she said? Uh, the vast wasteland. But I'm going to the free flow of information. You better take a look over your shoulder, pal. What in the hell? That there is the vast wasteland, discovered and named by Newton Minow way back in 1963. The driest, most barren desert on the information pipeline. You got a ways to go, but if you can cross it, the free flow of information is yours. <laughs> 